Finally on Network Africa today, yet another player walks away from Nigeria's national team, Super Eagles. First, it was Vincent Ayama, argue, arguably one of the best keepers the Super Eagles ever had. Well, and now Emmanuel Medike, Super Eagles striker. So his exit did not come as a huge shock to many, as indeed Vincent Ayama. Emenike has scored nine goals in about 37 uh, appearances for the national team. Emenike quit on social media with a goodbye message that reads, in brief, no more Eagles career after five years. I am happy to announce that I have put full stop to my national team career for the sake of national peace. Yemi Adibaya joins me now in the studio. For the sake of national peace. That sounds like a familiar statement. Um, Vincent Ayama, you know, sort of like drew the same, um, Music, the the same, same word. Same words. What's going on? I don't understand. F first, I must say, um, it, it's really sad. You know, it, it seems to me like some people are trying to, like the Nigerian Football Federation is trying to do something and the players do not understand. I think somebody is trying to go in a particular direction but you know, some people are not carried along, and uh, hence, uh, in your intro, you said this doesn't come as a surprise, mm -hmm. as in the case of Vincent Ayama, uh, because you you look at the man in the in the last two years, he struggled for form. Uh, but yeah. you also remember there was a time we were already comparing him to Rashid Yakini. <laughs> this was the person that you know probably wore that number nine shirt. Mm -hmm. That number nine shirt has been an heavy burden for so many players in the Super Eagles. So it, it, it's it's really very 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 difficult to understand what happened. For footballing reasons, you, you, you were tempted to say that it's not a bad decision, yeah. footballing reasons. But you see, when the word quit, when you hear the word quit, uh, when the player says, I'm quitting, it means it's an untimely retirement. Because when players that have served the country like Emenike has done, when they retire, like what we did for Kanu 2011, you get a testimonial. Everybody comes and you bow out graciously. Retirement is different from quitting, obviously. Well. Yeah, in, in the context of what we are discussing now. Okay. So, you know, he's stepping aside, not necessarily because he's still not playing football, but because, you know, th there are issues that are not necessarily on the football pitch. Why do you think he took that decision quickly? Uh, well, well, I think, you know, the coach must have communicated something to him, uh, you know. What if it did? I'm just saying. Okay. What if the coach didn't say anything to Th him? That's why I said that a lot of issues are not clear. Right. And that's why I say, on the surface, this is not exactly, you know, and I like the way you put a piece of work. It's not exactly like the Ayama situation. In the Ayama situation, this is a, the best goalkeeper we have. No, no two ways about it. In this case, if you have a striker who is not scoring. Yeah, you know, yeah, but so, even at that, I mean. But the issues surrounding the way he has, you know, stepped off the scene is what worries us. But like I said, for footballing reasons, you may say no. But even if you want a player to leave, there are ways you should communicate. And I think the NFF, so that other senior players do not start walking away, because that's fear now. Mm -hmm. He has done this, who knows, it might be Onazi, it might be Mikael, it might be Ahmed Musa, but hopefully it won't, it won't get to that. Yemi yeah, Adebayo there for us. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. It was a pleasure. Finally, on Network Africa, remember, uh, we have been asking you a few questions. We will bring you the feedback hopefully tomorrow. But first, let's take this question again. Uh, what are your thoughts on Ghana's gas debt and dwindly power supply that's what are your thoughts on ghana's debt that's ghana's gas debt i beg your pardon and uh, dwindling power supply you know you can send your answer to network africa at channels tv.com go on twitter right now and tweet at me at at josh and also at net africa ctv thank you so much what are your thoughts on ghana's gas debt and dwindly power supply that's Network Africa today. Thank you so much for watching. I am Adeshawa Josh, and I'll see you tomorrow.